I guess most people at this time having a competition coming up, video that coming soon, um, would, you know, before the workout have a pre-workout, maybe some amino acids during the workout, and then uh, protein post-workout, and that's keeping it simple. But for me, all I do is just have little pre-workout foods, some pierogies, just to keep me going. Nothing during the workout because I don't need something to keep me going. And then post-workout, I'll just have probably more pierogies or actually make a real meal of real food. Um, so yeah, if you have, I understand a lot of people are, you know, in a hurry or something and shakes are just easier and faster. But if you have the time and the resources like me in the summer to actually make your food, a whole lot better. So you may be wondering, what does Matthew have against supplements or whatever? And it's not that I have anything against supplements at all. In fact, when I'm going to be cutting for this next um, competition coming up, I'll be using protein powder and probably a pre-workout just to get me motivated and to have a pure protein um, source without all the fat and carbs from like sausage and meats and stuff. So it's not that I get supplements at all, it's just that I like to try to prove to myself that you don't even need to. Plus, the big reason is it's completely free. I don't have to buy all these supplements every month or however long it lasts you. That you're done um, hearing me yap. Uh, let's get to the workout. And you get to see me yap some more. So here's just showing me uh, warming up. I think it was 20 pound dumbbells. Not much to it. Obviously you want to warm up before any workout. Um, yeah, so I showed an excessive amount of warming up here. Come on, let's get to it. Alright, so the workout starts with being at home, you're going to want to, you probably don't have all the machines that you would have at a gym. Being one here, a preacher curl. Here I just did kind of a makeshift preacher curl with the easy curl bar. Set it right on my knees, your different angle. And, I mean, your knees just act as the bench. It's exactly the same thing, stretching at the bottom, squeezing this out. So that's one kind of a trick exercise you can use if you're working out at home, if you're stuck at home. Um, okay, so on to the next. So here it just looks like standard straight bar curls. But I actually, it's kind of hard to see, but I have my wrists. My grip is almost touching in the middle, just a very narrow grip. This is going to work a lot more of that brachialcy outside of your um, arm. And I only did that because, uh-oh, shirt's coming off. Just getting serious. That's right. So here's the same thing. Um, just doing the real narrow grip. Just to try to, I mean, I always do straight bar curls. you got to switch up your workouts. So that's one good way of doing that. All right, we see ya. What's next? Gee, I made these long clips. All right, this is kind of funny. I want, I was gonna do just standing dumbbell, but you see the weight here. First of all, it's way too heavy, as you'll see me like trying to get it up. Second of all, the other dumbbell there has a different amount of weight, and I am just too lazy to switch it up. So I just decided to use the one weight, which is like 45 pounds. That's actually kind of heavy for me, as you can see there. <laughs> so you'll see I, oh, there I'm struggling with the other arm again. Yeah, so also switching it up, using the one arm at a time. I, I don't think I've ever done that one arm at a time. just helps you focus on um, the one bicep. So better muscle, mind, mind-muscle connection here. Um, so, yeah, we're still seeing this going on. So here you'll see me go down. I think this other one, see it has a different weight. Fives on the outside instead of tens. So I think it dropped about ten pounds, kind of like a superset here. And you can see it's better, but still, right afterwards, I'm still struggling. But anyway, the rest of the uh, the rest of the clips, or the rest of this <laughs> exercise, is just the same thing. Using this 35-pound weight, I think I do in total the workouts about four exercises, about five sets each, so 20 sets in total. Pretty, pretty good, normal volume. Um, man, what the heck is... Here we go. I'm recording like a marathon. 
Alright, so here at the end of the workout, I think this might be the last third or fourth exercise. At the end of a bicep workout, I really like to work the uh, forearms as well. Not super directly or anything like curls, but here you can see it's working the brachialis the outside again of the bicep and then the forearms here, keeping these wrists straight up. I just did that with easy curl bar and then went straight over to a drop set. Of course, I didn't get my weight ready. That's why I was angry there. So I just go ahead and do the same thing, one arm hammer curls. And now after doing that, I realize, damn, this weight is too heavy. So <laughs> I got to finish out the set at least. Here I'm just kind of finishing it. Um, the next clip you'll see I still do the hammer curls or the reverse curls there with the easy curl bar and then I switch it over to I think they're 20 pound dumbbells just doing them all at once yeah there I say lower that weight so here it's a nice thing you're not at the gym there's no ego here so <laughs> I'm just here I can work out with my shirt off I can have music blaring I can use whatever weight I want I can record that's the beauty of working out at home so even there, those 20s are still kind of <laughs> heavy. And then, for this last, I was going to be done, but then I lift up this bar to put it back on the rack, and I thought, hey, I could finish with just standard grip, straight bar curls. And as you can see, these uh, 10s on either side are posing a rather large problem, as <laughs> I'm really struggling to get this up. But the end of a workout, pushing hard. It was a good workout there. I'm getting pretty tired. Good workout and all. So, hope you guys liked the video. Actually, I have a little outro to talk about. So after this, you'll hear me talk again. Alright, thanks for watching this home bicep workout. I also did calves too. Be on the lookout for this weird kind of home calf machine I kind of made up that you can make real easily. Um, as you can see, I'm just stuck at home, working with what I got. I just make up the exercises as I go. It's not like I have a pre-planned workout other than what muscle group I'm working that day. So it's all kind of improv, just do what you will. And if I feel like doing some hammers, I'll do some hammers. If I feel like doing straight bar curls like you saw me doing twice, I'll just do them. And I'm all for setting a regimen, but I mean, if you know what you're doing, just go with what feels right. That's what I do. So thanks guys for watching, um, stay tuned for that calf video and more collabs with Doug as we get closer and closer to our competition. I keep building it up, there'll be a video soon describing when it is, where it is, and stuff like that and what we're doing in it. So I uh, hope you guys like this video, speaking of that you can go ahead and like the video, throw down a comment and even subscribe. Remember there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. Little outdoor lunges or shoulder press. Oh, oh. oh that's good. <laughs> A little hard. Whew.